Santa Claus is being. So, Merry Christmas. We're, uh, what are we? An hour and five minutes in. We'll do another 20 minutes. And then uh, I'm calling it a day. I think Charlie's still asleep. How are you doing? Eh? Scott's just done a wonderful stream, which I'm kind of half listening to here. Feeling a little bit better today, which is good. Feeling good. No breakfast because I was late getting up. Uh, I got two bananas here, emergency, which I haven't eaten, but I will eat straight after. I might as well uh, start off the day with some fruit because <laughs> the rest of it's probably going to be bad. Things are very busy in here. Breakfast is on the deck. No, it's not. It's on the table. Well, we can open presents now if you want. The croissants are taken. No, it has to be in order. Uh, whatever happened to spontaneity? That sums us up as a couple. Like, I'm like, yeah, let's just do it whenever. And you're like, organisation. I need a schedule. This is true. Breakfast is very big in your family, isn't it, on Christmas Day? Yeah. Not very big as in whose breakfast. I mean, breakfast is it's probably more important, probably more important to you than yeah, cause Christmas it's, meal. Yeah, because it's like, it's left over from my gran, like it, it was like a- From Austria? Yeah, like Christmas is a big deal in our family. So like, for my parents, they like to like sit with a coffee or a pot of tea and something really indulgent for breakfast like a pastry and watch us open presents and like we like to watch one another opening presents. I did break into a Christmas present early but it was only to get coffee which we ran out of. This is from Cold Town which is a it's a it's a roastery that's really close by. Anyone who's local and watches my videos Almondford is where they're based and they're a real gem for cyclists. There's a huge place there now, like huge roastery. You can see everything through the windows, you can see them doing everything. It's quite an industrial feel to it, you know, concrete floor, all that kind of jazz. Um, but this, go, this stuff can go down really well in America and Canada and Australia because of like the branding, the branding is spot on. Are you gonna tell them like the meaning behind black gold? We need to get, we need to get sponsored by these people. Are you gonna explain that it used to be coal mining valley? And black gold used to refer to coal. Yeah, and black coal gold industry. refers to coal so and the industry. Black gold back, but in coffee form. Am I the man? Am I? <laughs> I'm not talking because the washing machine is just going berserk and it ruins the audio, so. That's a duck. Open it then, open it. What is it? Here, I'm guessing so. Oh, by the way, we haven't bought each other anything because uh, it's our first Christmas together, so. We thought we would spend money on the flat and stuff that we need, uh, rather than normal Christmas stuff. So this is really fun, giving us food this year. So thank you. What do you think? I think it's food. Charlie thinks it's food. I think it's something edible. What is that? <laughs> Truffle. Why is it focusing on your face? Truffle bites. And a reusable face cover. <laughs> That's definitely for me. I thought it was as in like a, like a, what do they call it, pedicure thing. Look at this, Charlie's friend made for us. A photo of me and Charlie at their wedding. And uh, Charlie yes. and Ed. She's made those. She's got she... um, a tool. Well, this thing? Yeah. Uh, the, I don't know about this thing, but oh, she's definitely wooden... made those, yeah. 
Yeah, it's cool, aren't we? <laughs> Vlog. My friend gave me a box of heroes for Christmas. Someone's already redid them before Christmas Day. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, I, 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 I feel sick already. <laughs> Breakfast was too big. Um, people are giving us lots of food. We like to eat. And guess the present. It's got to be cookies, isn't it? Okay. Usually they come in a thing like that. Open up that one. Let's see what one's on What are they? Sweet. Pick a mess. She knows I love sweets. Like sweet. Do you ever find that the smaller the present, the harder it is to guess what it is? Like, what is this? Ah! I know what it is. Oh my god. Oh my god, Helen! What have you. It's bath. Fizz oh, it's bath fizzler. Oh. Bath fizzer. Except there's still a mattress in my bath. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I'm useless. Charlie had a. a loofah. I, I don't know what they're called, like the funny scrunchy bath thing. The things you scrub yourself with. And I was unwrapping it and then this thing was like around it and I didn't know what it did. So I started to undo it and then I took it off and then it kind of just went like that. I'm gonna tell Helen on you. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put a bow in your hair. I thought I, I thought you had to I think oh you look pretty now. Show the vlog. <laughs> I thought that's how you did it. I don't know. You fix it. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Cheers, Nola. Nice. All these sheep as well. Happy Christmas sheep. So we've just come out for a quick, well, funny enough, we just finished food, so just to catch the sunset. It's the first time we've done this as well. We've, we've driven like five minutes away uh, to the top of Bont Mountain. Um, mountain range in the background, more over there as well. And then Morriston and Swansea is over that direction. Um, so we just came from down there, but brilliant view over the Lachar Estuary and the Goa for those of you who are English and you come to Wales for your holidays. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I've really missed the outdoors, like the last, the last month, well, last six weeks really, like because I haven't been outside, being in isolation and everything else, but so good to be back out and. Thumbs up the video if you want to see more outdoors content. Even if it's just this, not even me riding a bike. What are you doing? I won't get it back now. I'm going now. Bye. Bye. You'll have to stay if you're like. You'll have to stay if you're like Bear grills all night. <laughs> I survived. With the with the with the sheep and the, and the moss. I'm a, I'm a very steady driver, aren't I? We're all talking proper Welsh, though. We are proper Welsh, that's why. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, guys. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. Um, obviously, today is Christmas Day, so it's not. I didn't want to do too much with the camera, being that I wanted to spend time with Charlie, and we had like a really lengthy phone call with a couple of friends and our family as well uh, later on this evening, which was brilliant. And I hope you know you were able to do that as well. Technology is quite frankly amazing. <laughs> um, speaking of technology. Tomorrow is my first, like, I guess, really long ride or the first session I've done that's been like this long um, for probably like six weeks. Uh, I want to say six weeks because like I took a month off with the virus, uh, recovering, and I've been back like just over a week and yeah, it's probably around six weeks. So tomorrow is 8 a.m. We're doing 80k in France. Um, Phil's taking the ride and yeah I'm looking forward to it um, I mean I've pretty much I've got to be honest I've not eaten much since lunch today because the portions were just like oh, my eyes were far too big for my belly um, but uh, I'm not worried about it tomorrow whatsoever because the 80k indoors is only going to take like two and a half hours probably less than that actually um, but I'm looking forward to doing it with a bunch of you and of course, Phil and Scott, fingers crossed, uh, Scott can get through it. Uh, but to be honest, fingers crossed, I can get through it. Um, but the last couple of days, just to recap, so like to, this morning was 40k, well 60k actually. I upped it uh, just to get a bit more in, to give me a bit of a buffer. So I've done 40k and 60k, so I've done an hour, an hour and a half. Um, and they both felt like great, they both felt fine. Um, I was a little bit sore. Coming off the bike today, my legs were a little bit sore, um, which is kind of just to be expected, really. Um, what I think some people sometimes forget is, like, even though like I'm an elite athlete and my fitness is still like really high, even after this time off, what you got to remember is that like, even just overloading, like doing an hour versus doing two hours, there's still like a big jump. Um, just like doing like time, time is the big kind of thing, you know, like distance is all relative so like for me to be able to build up to a four hour ride again or five hour ride again would just be like the dream like i miss like us going out and doing that walk just now i it just it showed me how much i miss um going out and and like riding in the hills and, and just exploring especially this time of year when it's like cold and crisp and dry and like just doing like one big loop in the countryside um, and just racking up like you know 130 150 kilometers I miss that um, and the sooner I get back to it the better um, but you know small steps are going well the small steps are going well so uh, yeah so do the 80k tomorrow then we see how we are on Sunday we might do a little bit extra uh, but we play by ear thanks for watching I appreciate you watching I'm making it this far uh, hope you had a great Christmas, Christmas Day and Christmas period. Uh, well wishes to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay well. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.